Ladies and gentlemen, then, let us take a break for a moment from consoles and let us instead discuss the Steam operating system. Many have wondered what Valve have in store for the Steam OS, particularly as it's not exactly unknown that they are not particular big fans of Windows A. And so there have been questions, what functionality would the Steam OS actually give you? In other words, if you do not desire to buy Windows 8 or a version of Windows for your system, would you be fine just with Steam OS? And there's actually some information regarding this now. So what basically will happen is that when you load it up, um, a splash screen will appear and it's very much similar to the big picture mode in terms of the basic interface. Um, we do know that it is built on a pure Linux. It is not based on, say, Ubuntu. So it's a custom, complete custom platform that build it pretty much from the ground up. It's not a spin-off. It's not a, you know, we've just taken this code and tweaked it a little bit, which makes a lot of sense because that means that they are able to customize the services that are running, the processes and everything else are going to be tweaked for great performance. But the system is not going to replace your Windows 8. It actually from what the from what the reports are stating um, it offers it offers very little functionality outside of the basic things such as say web browsing and of course uh, gaming indeed is actually no way to even view things such as a browser a file browser or an image viewing application indeed it's actually pretty much saying that if you are going to purchase a steam machine you're pretty much saying that you want a PC as a games system. That's it. Bottom line. So if you plan to say, you know, go online, download an image, make a meme of it and stick it on the internet, the Steam machine is not going to do it, good sir. In other words, you can basically say that the PC is now pretty much a games console. What is really surprising to me um, from what from what the reports are stating, and obviously these are really early, the operating system is not released yet, things can change over time, updates can happen, blah de blah de blah you get the idea. Uh, but there's not even a base level support for media playback. You can't even do things such as Netflix, which is odd. Um, Hulu Plus, there's no option for that. Um, now, maybe it's possible this will be built into the web browser. This has not really been clarified, but there's no basic applications. You can't just press a button, Netflix loads. However, what SteamOS page currently says is we're working with many of the media services you know and love. Soon you'll be bringing them online, allowing you to access your favorite music and videos with Steam and SteamOS. With SteamOS, openness means that the hardware industry can create, can iterate uh, in, to the, in the living room at a much faster pace than we've been able to. Content creators can directly connect with their customers. Users can alter or replace any part of the software or hardware that they want. So, we do know that, uh, this is out of quote of course, we do know that the surface of the SteamOS is very simple. This operating system is going to be very, very open. I would not be surprised if, you know, someone just decides, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just put in a file browser on there, or I'm going to, you know, change the desktop, maybe, you know, put in a derivative of, say, GNOME, or, you know, um, some file browser, their favorite file browser, or they'll, they'll add in different media services, or they'll make it compatible with GIMP, or whatever the hell they want to do. It's possible that that is going to happen. However, this is not Valve's intention. They are saying that they want to make a system which is going to primarily and be focused upon gaming. So, I guess it's a bit early to know just what's going to happen, how good that's going to be. It's obviously it could be a really cool thing. It could also be a very bad thing. Um, I think for people who are, have been hoping just to say, forget Windows, screw it, I'm going to Valve, uh, to Valve Steam OS, then 
it's not really going to be the way forward. On the other hand, remember that Steam will work on Linux natively, so you don't need that. Remember that Steam OS is going to be quite configurable, and the fact that it's still very early. And obviously, if people keep telling Valve we want media functions, we want X, we want Y, they'll probably point you over in their direction to customize it, or they'll do it themselves and maybe make some basic libraries. It's still really early stuff, but he's hoping for a lot of functionality. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.